system? Because you know, different you know, pickup systems work different with different guitars. How do you how do you look at a guitar you're making and say this one needs you know a, a bags or this one should get you know? Probably or, half half of the students come in with their own ideas of what they want. Uh, but uh, our recommendations from the repair shop is I'll stick with the classics, you know, the, the 57 classic from Gibson, uh, the, the 5762 Fender Singer Coils. I mean, you know, those are never going to sound bad and they play, you know, you can play just about any kind of music on them. So if you don't know, you know, go, go, with, go with the go sure with the tried shot. And true That's tried guy. and true, that's right. Oh, um. What about other instruments? Do you ever get anybody coming in and building? I noticed when I was coming in, there was a mandolin under there. Well, yeah, uh, mandolins, mandolas. We, any we odd built a bazooki. Um, we built a little turtle bazooki ukulele. Is a... Bazooki's like an Irish big oh, mandolin. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, one guy built a, a turtle ukulele out of a turtle shell. Um, we built a monkey face bass, <laughs> acoustic bass. Mm -hmm. So it's really anything they think of, we try to Are building accommodate. things like, you know, mandol you know the, the bazooki, I think is similar to mandola. Mm -hmm. um, now that you've said, said what it is. Yeah, like. and there's dozens of different styles. Yeah, you know. I mean, is building something smaller like that, like a mandolin, is that harder? Or is it just, you know? Um, it can be. I mean, you know, hard is kind of a vague word. Yeah. I, um, Sometimes the, the challenge smaller. is we can't find plans for everything, so we draw out a lot of our own plans, mm -hmm. and we build a lot of stuff with no plans. You know, mm -hmm. we just try to adapt it to something similar, and uh, we're good at winging it, thank goodness. Right. But um, you know, that's kind of the the limit on it. Uh, complications like carving those tops and stuff like that. That's probably the the overall most complicated build. So anything you got a carved top on, you know, with dovetail joints on your neck, setting the bridges, that kind of thing. But on, on almost all guitars, you have some aspect of that. Now, um, one last thing about building, I'll probably have, I'll think of something as I'm talking, I usually do. Um, bracing, now you do different kinds of bracing. Let's just say, you know, Thinking of people that maybe don't have a place like this nearby and they want to learn how to do a guitar, <clears throat> and I'll get back to this in a second. But starting off with what kind of bracing does, does everybody use? I know there's you know, like the, the usually X we'll and the use a the, the, the spruce is the most common, but sometimes the people lose, use the mahogany braces or just a similar type of wood on the back for the braces. But what well, sort of bracing do you recommend well, starting with? I mean, is it again? There's a, what I mean. It's like the uh, ladder bracing. Uh, the most common is just variations on the uh, the dreadnought bracing, the scallop bracing. Okay. So we have drawings, and I have this set that we just keep as uh, templates. And uh, we have Here. spruce lumber out there, just a plank, big plank, uh, plank of spruce, and we'll cut out cut out these braces out of the plank and basically say, okay, make it look like that. <laughs> yeah, and then we have the go-bar deck, and uh, that's pretty dramatic when all that is set up. And, but they make their own braces and everything from scratch. Right, so they, and uh, if it's a different style, like uh, that that shape that we came up with, we bent it by hand, the, uh, the cutaway. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we could do it on that lace wood. And um, so, I mean, there's no plan for that. So we just adapted the dreadnought to it. Had to shorten the braces a little bit more. Um, that thin was real top. That's why it's so boomy. So we, you know, we kept them a little, the braces a little beefier than normal just to kind of compensate. But it worked out, you know, averaged out. But yeah, we, we chop everything out by hand. And some of them turn out real good. And their first few tries is like, wow, it looks better than that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then other people... Not so good, but we try to clean it up and say, hey, you know, even though it's inside the guitar, it's, what looks good usually sounds good. 